Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 14th of November. First off, thanks to everybody for coming out to Storm Alert Extreme, our storm training this past Saturday at the BJCC. Record crowd. Wow. The place was packed. Over 400 were there. And we gained a whole lot of new eyes that will be trained looking at severe weather. It's going to help make the warning process better. So thanks for being there. Uh, we'll talk about weather this week. Some of the sky cam shots early this morning. Pretty mild out there. We got readings... Uh, uh, in the 50s in most spots, that's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam as we look east-southeast from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. There's the uh, Fayette Sky Cam up in northwest Alabama, and we'll head down to Lee County and the Auburn Sky Cam. All right, we've got the trough way back in the southwest. In fact, really, it's over the Gulf of California uh, and the ridge over the Gulf. And uh, the ridge will probably win the battle today. It's going to be pretty mild. There's a look at temperatures this morning, and you can see that tongue of warm air coming up through Texas and Arkansas ahead of the cold front that's still well to the northwest. On the watch warning map, I think it's pretty quiet. Uh, got some winter weather advisories up in Idaho and, and Montana, but really uh, the weather for now is quiet across the nation. Later today, could see some active storms. That's the convective outlook. We've got a slight risk of severe weather around the Rio Grande of uh, South Texas and also north of here from near Paducah, Kentucky, up to about Cleveland. But uh, rain, not really a big deal here today. Just a small chance of a shower this afternoon. Tomorrow, got the standard slight risk on the uh, western Gulf Coast over much of Louisiana and the adjacent parts of Texas and Mississippi. In day three, no formal risk on Wednesday, just the low-end 5% probabilities for central and south Alabama. And we'll check some of the severe weather parameters as we go. This is the QPF, the rain for the next five days. This is suggesting rain amounts from nearly uh, an inch and a quarter around the Tennessee border down to a quarter inch on the Florida border. This is the RPM, you know, the uh, in-house model we run. It's a mesoscale model, and it's got higher numbers in that little band from near uh, uh, Gordo and Northport up to Lake Gunnersville. Uh, suggesting maybe some three and a half inch totals. That's probably too aggressive, but we'll see. And the amounts are clearly lighter to the south than to the north. Just an just an idea at this point. I, I'm not so sure it's going to work out that way. All right, let's get in there and uh, look at modeling. This is the GFS. This is the 06Z run at noon today. There's your warm ridge over the Gulf. There's a big trough over the Gulf of California. And again, you know, cloudy. There might be a speck or two on radar today, but a lot of folks will not get wet. And we're talking mid-70s. That's 10 degrees above average. We ought to be in the mid-60s here in mid-November. All right. Uh, tomorrow, the disturbance moves into uh, South Texas. And uh, we should see an increase in rain activity here. We'll forecast developing showers and storms, especially by mid to late afternoon. It's still very mild with uh, low 70s. And then tomorrow night looks wet. And here's Wednesday. We've got uh, kind of a long uh, wave trough developing with the axis west of the state. And that should support a, a good round of showers and storms with a cold front coming in uh, Wednesday, uh, maybe into early afternoon. So let's look at some of the severe weather parameters. Well, we'll kind of look at the uh, 6 a.m. Wednesday, early Wednesday morning. That, that's really when the better dynamics would seem to be. And there will be some instability. This is surface-based CAPE, uh, convective available potential energy, and this is suggesting CAPEs of uh, maybe up to 500 joules around here. And, uh, you know, that would support some strong storms. The helicity values, this is the 0 to 3 kilometer helicity. And again, you know, they're actually somewhat respectable here, and that would support uh, sustained updrafts. And this is the EHI, the Energy Helicity Index. And again, those numbers aren't overwhelming, but they are so showing uh, the numbers up to about a 0.5 here. So uh, there's no doubt there might be a strong storm. It's certainly not a classic severe weather setup, but as always, what do you do with storms? You expect the unexpected. All right, Thursday, we're getting into colder air. Noticeably cooler. Uh, not so sure we see 60 on Thursday. That would suggest a high of about 60 with a pretty good north breeze. Friday will be cold Friday morning with uh, mid-30s, maybe a freeze for the colder spots, a good frost there, and again, uh, the high only in the low 60s. All right, Saturday as we start the weekend, big low developing over uh, northeast Colorado. Uh, moisture starting to come back. Uh, I think we call it partly sunny. And you see a green blob there, but I'd say the chance of a shower is just tiny. There's no dynamic forcing. 
And then Sunday, again, uh, the, the better you know rain would be with that cold front north and west of the state. Uh, I just don't know if we need to mention showers here at this point. Just a very small chance Saturday and Sunday with a slow warming trend. That would suggest mid-60s on Sunday. And a week from today, that's a familiar scene. We've got this warm ridge, you know, this persistent ridge over the Gulf is nosing in here, keeping most of the action north of us. And there's the surface chart. And again, you can see the front hangs up north of here. All right, now next week, you know what it is. It's Thanksgiving week. So let's look at Wednesday of next week. This is uh, the biggest travel day of the year, according to many. And this is voodoo, all right? The, you know, this is going to change, but we're just looking, having fun. Uh, we got uh, vorticity north and west of the state, and that looks like a big rain event setting up there, maybe from Dallas-Fort Worth up through Little Rock and uh, into Kentucky and around the Ohio River. And then on Thanksgiving Day, those showers move in here, but they are weakening. So that's your Thanksgiving setup for now. That could be kind of mild and showery. With this mean ridge, I'm telling you, you know, temperatures will stay kind of Above average, we'll get these cold shots, but they don't last long. The end of the forecast on the 29th, guess what? It's the ridge in place. The westerlies are up north, and that would be uh, pretty warm and dry if this is right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.